Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about the Salesforce through a visualizer VS Code extension. Just use this extension and you will be get to know more about it. Okay, so let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to open uh, Salesforce Marketplace or we can say that like Microsoft Marketplace. So here you can see, I just opened this extension in Marketplace Visual Studio.com and here the extension name is Salesforce Flow Visualizer. So this is the Salesforce Salesforce Flow Visualizer extension name. And how to use it and where we can use and inside the VS Code how to configure the link. So I will show you that kind of you know configuration or features inside this video. So please watch this video until then if you want to learn something new and please subscribe the channel and turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my site. So let's get started. So here, first of all, you can see the overview about this extension. So basically, uh, this uh, this is the Salesforce extension developed by this Todd. Okay, and uh, the VS Code extension to create a visual presentation of the flow. And flow always comes under the metadata that is dot flow hyphen meta dot xml. This is the extension of the flow inside the VS Code, and it's provide the MD file that is called Markdown file. And based on that markdown file, it's automatic convert your markdown file to your your diagram. So first of all, you have to make make sure about this you know uh, flow metadata. So flow metadata should be comes under the you know uh, the structure of your LWC project or any kind of SFDX project, right? So once you get this kind of in you know extension or flow inside your VS Code, I will show you in this video. Don't worry about it. Let me explain first of all these features. So once you retrieve your flow from Salesforce to VS Code, and just open this dot flow hype and make a dot XML file. And once you open it, just you have to press Ctrl C P and just convert this XML file to Markdown and Markdown to uh, Visualizer. That is called this flow visualizer, right? And uh, we as well as a graphical view of your flow, some basic flow information like uh, output such as a flow name, type and details on the variable defined with it. So this kind of features uh, this sort of extension have. So let's see in the Excel. So let me open my VS Code. So here you can see the VS Code and just if you want to search in the Google, you can search directly Salesforce Flow Visualizer. You will be get to know or you will be see the link inside the Google of this extension and also you can search under the marketplace and this extension here in VS Code and search this I err this is the extension and once you install it you can see that to say well I uninstalled because I already installed it that's why you can see the install button here and all things you can learn from here as well. Right. So let's see in the Excel in the proper you know implementation about this extension just you have to open your flow inside your all first of all you have to check how many flows on air so based on your flow and based on your requirement you can refer it from source dot to the disk and here in this org i have lots, lots of the item i have created and some of the new system defined some many expected or some unmanaged expected so this is a custom you know created by me with all of the flows here almost so let's say in the picture and uh, this also how to retrieve and how to use when i so first of all, let me show you the, you know, uh, basically like uh, that or we got alone, any kind of, you know, flow as I am. So let's say a static gap. Let me open this flow here. And once you open this flow, you will be seeing lots of elevates inside the uh, canvas. So that kind of things we have and also variables in this uh, flow diagram. Also, you can uh, see this kind of, you know, diagram visualizer of the field inside the VS Code. So first of all, let me show you the uh, in the all and that one you will see inside the VS Code. So here, just once you open your flow, particular flow, you can see the lot of element inside this canvas, right? So here you can see lots of element like the star, the screen, the screen one, HTTP, this is the action here, right? And this is the foundations, and this is the VN screen, and this is also mirror screen and then and. So this is also visualized up here and also the variable if you see here in the resources you can see the lots of element variable or decision box or you know like the screens and events uh, the screen component actions right 
So same thing we will see inside the VS Code as well. So how can we see? So just open the VS Code and close this extension and enter this own browser. Once you click this own browser, you can see lots of things, right? Like all the metadata of your all. So once you come down here, you can see the one for, uh, folder here that is called flow. So let me click on this flow is here. So I have lots of flow here, you can see, right? I will let me retrieve some on the flow, some of the flow and let's say HTTP get let me retrieve it. So I already leaving that's why you can see the over, right? Let me cancel it. Or you can retrieve this post as well. So let me retrieve the post. So here you can see some post that is going to work. After this post seek, you can use like get post, any kind of flow as you have in your app inside this VS code with visualizer. So here successfully retrieve. Let me open my for the structure. Under here, you can see the form flows. And under the default, we have uh, two types of flow. One is that and also let me click on this add one. So here you can see the XML file. And let me just focus on that. This is the XML file. Of, uh, this is the metadata of of this flow. And once you open this file and uh, let me convert this uh, XML file to MD. And after that, MD2 visual visualizer of the flow. So those you have to press on project feed after the installing the really good uh, I still up. So here, this is the command flow visualizer Marbe. Right. So just click on this one. So this command created the MD file. Please focus on that one. And it's side by side, you can see here. This is the MD file. This is the metadata file. This is the MD file. And the MD file have notes of your like the uh, steps. So based on this, and you can see the my code in. And that is dot stream flow and variable. Data type collection input output object and if you know. So you can see that start and then screen one, then action, then decision, and then error the screen, and then okay, 200 and okay, then and. So same thing you can see inside the sales source in canvas, right? So here I will show you this kind of screen inside the sales source as well. So once you open it, you can see this canvas screen here, right? Like start, screen one, then action, decision success and error and then so same thing you can see inside the VS code as well like uh, this is the start here when in the top you can see the start then the screen one x and s utility echo low this is in check by status and our exception different and this okay and like end you can see so this is a very useful and this is a very handy you know like extension to use your or long you work you know like VS code so don't need to worry about them every time you have to open your flow or then check the flow uh, decision variable everything you can see in this uh, md file so here there is this part this is not put that call out here or action and check the condition this this and uh, stay where well, that is clean this is a cat again you can see the all things here right so this is all about this action salesforce you no know, Flow visualizer. So hopefully you like this video and also you can subscribe the channel and you can share this video along with your sub pupils or you know your colleagues. So that will that would be helpful for me. Until then, bye bye. Take care. See ya. Thank you for watching, guys.